you know, specifically like with coin selection, there are, there's so many things that you can kind of mess up, uh, even for power users. I mean, for example, Adam uh, told a story once that he used the Bitcoin Core wallet, uh, and he meticulously labeled all his addresses, all his transactions, made sure to always separate his clusters and so on. And there was a lot of hard work, uh, and the software didn't incentivize doing it, right? and it wasn't mandatory either. Um, and then, for example, he selected all the coins. And he wanted to send a sub, like a, a small amount. He didn't even want to send the entire amount, but he just did not care about coin selection. So he just selected all and sent a small amount to an address. What Bitcoin Core did was to build a transaction that includes all of these inputs, or all of these coins in the input of the transaction. Um, therefore revealing that they were owned by the same person. Mm. Right? So Adam spends years on having a nice clear wallet where he doesn't mix his, uh, like doesn't cluster his coins. And then he just wants to save some time and not worry about manual coin selection, right? And he selects all thinking that uh, Core will do the coin selection, but it doesn't. It just includes all of them in the input. So another example where the the, the wallet provides you so much freedom that it can shoot you in the foot. Right? Uh, and this is, for example, what he used in the Wasabi 1.0 design already. If you select all of your coins and then you send an amount, Wasabi will not just blindly put all of these coins in the input of the transaction. It will still do a coin selection. Uh, and if there are some coins that don't need to be in this transaction, well, they will not be. Uh, saving exactly from that use case of revealing all uh, all this ownership. So, um, yeah, too much freedom can be a bad thing. You can shoot yourself in the foot. 